Hello Pirates, um, just wanted to share, a lot of people have been asking for a Missile Storm Cruiser build and asking a whole bunch of questions about tactical modules. So I decided to give people an overview of what could be done with this hull. Um, no secret builds, nothing crazy, just really what a normal working build would look like so people don't, don't waste shipyard time. So first of all, the naked hull takes only 15 hours to build. Okay, if you do that in the con Conqueror yard, it's gonna cost you 160,000 titanium. If you don't have that much, you think that's a lot, build it naked with just a third one, right? Or whatever, anything, okay? In the normal yard, less than a day, and you don't spend the titanium, and after that, you only bring it over here for refits, okay? So once you're past that, the first obvious weapon here is the Siege Missile D55X that came out with it. It's the best choice by far. If you don't have it, you're going to have to pick probably the Manus or the Clipper, which is only good against turrets pretty much. But this, you know, the Talon, one of these will have to be your choice. So I'm going to go with the Siege X that came with it in Bounty. So we're just going to put it all over here. Okay. The next choice is the armor. Um, pretty straightforward. This hull already has a pass-through of 360. So all damage types, no matter how much deflection you have, at least 360 damage, if the weapon hitting you does more than 360, will hit you. Right, so if the weapon does 2,000, your deflection is 64,000, 360 damage will be taken no matter what. So, just put the armor. I'm uh, going to use those new armors that came recently in FM that give a whole bunch of deflection. So the natural choice is to have 3 CP5, okay, compound plate 5, and 2... D6U, and with those armors you cover all types of deflections, okay? Now, you might face weight issues, in which case you might decide to remove one of those, but I would just leave it like that. So you have weapons sorted, you have armors sorted. Next up, specials, and here we can have a blast. It all depends on whether you're building this hole for base defense, for base attack, I'm going to build it for base attack, okay? So, of course, I'm going to need speed. So, the first simple choice, speed system 6. If you don't have speed system 5, if you want to go fancy and have very high speed but crappy turn speed, you can go with Magnus Drive 3 in here somewhere, up here, okay? Your choice. I'm going vanilla speed system 6. It, it works, gives you both combat and turn speed. Next up, uh, batteries uh, for turret defense. So if you are going for maximum turret defense and maximum building damage, pick Siege Battery 4. If you don't have Siege Battery 4, fall back to Siege Battery 3. If you are weight constrained, your ship is too heavy, you could choose Garrison Battery, uh, MKX. You're not going to benefit, I mean, your missile actually is going to benefit from the explosive damage because it has a secondary explosive damage, but you get the lowest building damage out of the options here, but it's the lightest, okay? So if your problem is weight, get this one. You get 65% building damage versus... 93 building damage here Okay, but the turret defense is the same and let's compare weight. So if I pick siege battery 4 I'm at 12,400 tons If instead you pick garrison battery You're 900 tons lighter and that's even before I add other specials or anything else Okay in the end the game with garrison batteries can be very big if you pick heavy weapon, heavy specials and heavy tactical module here. Next choice, 
we need something for uh, missile range. Uh, and by the way, I did not get the new special, so I'm not going to use that in my build. But if you got it, it doesn't give you range, but gives you accuracy, speed, and, and, and damage. I don't have it. So multiple choices. Uh, you can pick advanced optical tracking. Gives you accuracy, projectile speed, and retargetable. You can pick, uh, where is it? Guided missile system gives you accuracy and range. Okay, uh, it doesn't give you projectile speed. Or you can go for advanced guidance system. This one's going to give you just a bit of accuracy, so not as good against guard ships. Uh, but it gives you flak evade. So if you're facing a lot of countermeasures that are accuracy based, this helps. Okay, uh, entirely up to you. So I'm going to pick this one just because. Now, a few other interesting specials. Um, you could pick carbon fiber casing. You get reload and damage. Okay. And that's in place of the new special. So if you pick the new special, go for it. If you don't have it, carbon fiber casing is a choice. The other choice is here somewhere. Interception system. You don't get as much penetrating damage, but you get speed. So again, it's a trade-off. Do you want your ship to be faster or do you want it to have more damage? If you go for more damage, carbon fiber casing. More reload, more damage. Okay, next up, you could choose AFT Razor Foils. More accuracy, which works well with this special here, the Advanced Guided System, because then you get 15% accuracy here. 30% here, you get projectile speed, you get building damage. So now your building damage starts to be interesting. And finally, uh, something for defense. You could pick tactical insulator if you think the fields in the base will be a problem. Or you could go for agility system 4 or agility system 3. It's up to you. I mean, let's say I'm going to go with here. Agility system, okay? So these are choices you have, like I said, and it could be different. Um, now again, 15.9 tons. If I want more building damage, I could go Siege Battery 4, but then from 15.9, we go up to 17.1. So it's 1,300 tons more if you pick this one. Okay, so that's the, that's the ship build. Um, either batteries, garrison or siege battery. I'm gonna go with the lighter one for now. In the end, you can adjust. Tactical modules. Um, if you have the limited uh, tactical focus, it gives you a little bit more damage to any ships within the range. It is called snap immune, uh, but it's not uh, resonance trigger. So, if you want to use resonance capacitor with that tactical focus, not an option. Okay, but this is light and builds quicker, uh, quick than quicker than most other modules. Anyways, uh, a few other options uh, from blueprints, wake. Any of them will give you extra combat and turn speed, which your ship benefit from. The ballistic and explosive defense, because they're percentage based, they do not apply to conquerors. Okay, and any friendly ships in range will gain combat and turn speed as well. This is resonance trigger, but it's not code snap immune. So again, I would not use resonance capacitor with it. So that's a choice. Uh, none of the drones, I wouldn't use any of them. Just adds repair and they're pretty much useless. From here, you could use the cavitator. Uh, if you think you're going to face submarines and you want to surface them, you also gain combat and turn speed bonus. Okay? So these are the things you get. Uh, navigation array, you only gain map speed. Nothing else that's worth it. If you're going to build a ship for defense, the engine disruptor can be interesting. Uh, microwave dampener 
if enemy ships get in range and the range is only 74 their damage coming to you so the damage you're taking from your enemies will go down if it's ballistic goes down by 50 percent if it's concussive by 25 explosive by 50 penetrating by 40 uh, corrosive and radioactive damage are not affected by this okay um, seed scanner I personally like this one because it works against the enemy turrets if you get them in range I mean your missile far outranges this guy uh, so you have to be walking in range of things to make it work okay it gives you a little bit of turn speed and finally armor bypass it's useless because uh, conquerors and defenders don't work with percentage defense so this forget about it okay so if you're looking for speed and some measure of defense against subs this is a pretty good choice okay but as you see it puts you overweight so in most of these cases you cannot use the top level modules unless you give up on armor or weapons so you can bring it down to something lighter let's say subsonic cavitator 2 this one works okay so it gives you some sonar range and if subs come very close to you like 45 range you're gonna surface them but you gain some speed 10% combat 15 percent turn okay so that's pretty much how it works you could leave it empty and just go heavier on specials and armor that that's entirely up to you okay um, so one of these one of these or if you have from bounty uh, I think this is a good choice it's light builds quickly and there you go so that's a missile storm that's an overview of tactical modules um, with the weight we have left here, I would go back to Siege Battery 4. And this build kind of works. Uh, you know, my build is very similar to that one. I changed a couple specials, maybe that, but I'm still testing. This is a solid build. You could remove carbon fiber case for interception system. You could remove that. I think you could fit Siege Target 4 in here. Yeah, that's a choice too. A lot of building damage, heavier okay but you're giving up some uh, other attributes such as accuracy and projectile speed so again lots of trade-offs lots of options not really a wrong choice here um, I'll leave you with that enjoy have fun see you next time